What's up? My name is Eric Butler. This channel is called Report and Opine. I am back and from the New York Post, New York City's fairway supermarket using facial recognition to bust thieves. So this is just how bad it's gotten. It makes sense they're using technology to try to stop this. And this is happening as the NYPD is losing officers at a record pace. They are lowering the standards to replace those officers. Of course, now you're going to have more subpar cops and you're going to have more people whining about how bad the cops are and the cycle will undoubtedly continue. We also have businesses hiring private canine units to keep people from stealing. The NYPD also told people that told businesses that they shouldn't let people in their store with a mask, which obviously is a complete 180 from the last two or three years where they told you that you basically cannot leave the house without a mask. But this is what's happening. It's all absolutely insane. We heard a, another story of the juvenile detention center workers smuggling contraband to teenagers. And that doesn't really have anything to do with this story in particular. But this is just how crazy it's gotten. And now they're using technology, which might actually help. I don't know. An Upper West Side supermarket is using facial recognition technology to bust thieves as a wave of shoplifting slams the city. But some customers say it's an invasion of privacy akin to Big Brother. Well, what are you going to do? You're all going to end up paying. I mean, inflation is already through the roof. If people keep stealing anything that's not nailed down, you're going to end up. I mean, why would anybody play by the rules at this point in time in New York City? It doesn't make sense because all, the, all this bail reform is going to let the criminals out. The teenagers are going to have their way of contraband. Nothing's going to matter. They don't care about the regular taxpaying New Yorker. Same thing in California. It's always par for the course. They work from the exact same playbook. But I think as bad as it sounds, this big brother thing, this, you, you brought this on yourself, basically, right? Nobody has stopped any of these criminals. And so, I mean... And they, they want businesses to, to shut down. They don't want anybody to run a successful business and not need the help of the government. That's why they shut down thousands of businesses, destroyed millions of lives throughout Rona, right? And I will never let go of that. It basically destroyed my life. But of course, that's a different story. Fairway on Broadway and West 74th Street is collecting customers' personal information such as eye scans and voice prints in an effort to stop the scourge of shoplifters wreaking havoc on the market, according to the firm. So there's nothing, there's nothing else they can do. It's, it sounds super dark and super creepy that they're using Big Brother, but we know that basically every store you ever go in has cameras. Now, I don't know if they're using retina scans and, and voice, you know, voice notes or whatever, voice prints, but they already had cameras. And because New York is a completely lawless place, this is what it's gotten to. And maybe this was the goal the entire time, right? This is a way for them to help gain more control and get more get more data from you. There was another story a couple weeks ago about how they they needed more information from the public so that they could track norovirus, which basically is, is the stomach flu, right? I mean, you're eating at these rat-infested New York City restaurants, you're bound to get sick, and they want you to report that to the government so they can track the virus. So everything's about tracking and tracing and control, right? We remember that. I was in New York when they were literally, you know, trying to actually, we don't hear about this too much anymore, but track and trace every single thing. So if you came in contact with somebody who had run, it was all over the top. It was all completely fake. Tracking and tracing. So this is, this is, this is the logical conclusion of the way that they're going. And they, you know, we know that they, they want to turn it into a smart city. They want to track everything. There's cameras everywhere, right? Even in the neighborhood I lived in Flatbush, there's cameras on every single block because it turned into a, you know, gang territory war. But again, different story. This technology is helping our stores reduce retail crime, an industry-wide challenge that has increased dramatically over the past few years. Yeah, so 17 Walgreens closed in San Francisco, Walmart leaves Portland. People are stealing anything that's not nailed down because of the policies put in by these weirdo establishment politicians where they don't want to they don't want to punish anybody. They only want to punish the middle class taxpayer. They don't want to punish the junkie. They want to give them free fentanyl strips. They don't want to punish the prostitutes. They want to, you know, legalize that. They don't want to punish anybody except for the people who are actually paying for all this stuff. We have found that this technology is used thoughtfully and in combination with other measures we take to reduce theft is helping prevent more crime in store. The store hung a small sign on its front entrance alerting customers that it collects, retains, converts, stores, or shares customers' biometric information in an effort to stop repeat crooks. 
So, I mean, I guess they're letting you know most people aren't going to really read that sign anyways. And as weird as this might sound, I guess if you're not stealing things that aren't nailed down, you shouldn't really be too worried about it. But it is incredibly creepy. But this is how bad it's gotten to the point where they have to track and trace and collect your data because the same people are stealing from the same store over and over and over again. And even if they get caught, they what? They go to the station for an hour or two before they're let out. I guarantee you they are treating, they treated lockdown protesters like myself far worse than they treat a guy who steals from Fairway or Trader Joe's every other day. He's going to, he's going to get the, uh, you know, he's, nothing will happen to him. Meanwhile, anybody who goes against the narrative will be punished, you know, to the fullest extent of the law. And like I always say, they do not care what you do. That's why stores like this are taking matters into their own hands because the political establishment doesn't care what you do. They only care what you think and you have to obey them at, at all costs. Some shoppers called the controversial technology unsettling. It's a little creepy. Yeah, that's what I said. Sean Adams, a 37 year old who was shopping in the store. It's an invasion of privacy. We'll go to a different store. Claudia, a retired teacher from the Upper West Side, worried what would happen to her personal data once it is collected. I don't like it. Yeah, so... People don't like it, and it is it is really a catch-22 because everybody's going to end up paying astronomical amounts on top of the regular inflation, on top of the cost of living in New York. We already saw an article a couple days ago about how making $100,000 in New York feels like $36,000. So if they don't stop this theft, which they're not going to really, they're they're working on it a little bit, so they might might be making a step in the right direction, but... The political Eric Adams isn't going to do anything about it. So it's a catch 22. Like, are you going to let people keep stealing to the point where you're going to be paying, you know, $15 for a loaf of bread or whatever it is? Or are you going to use this dystopian facial recognition technology? Crooks have gotten so brazen. Mayor Eric Adams employed shoppers earlier this month to remove their face mask. Yeah, that's how bad it's got. And they wanted to pretend like they didn't realize that forcing people to wear was eventually going to backfire. But of course, it's not really a backfire because it's all a managed decline. So I don't even really know what to say about this. It is a catch-22, and that is part of the reason why New York is so terrible. It's like, well, do I want to be tracked and traced just to go grocery shopping because people can't stop stealing? Or do, do I want to pay astronomical amounts for groceries because people won't stop stealing? Which, of course, begs the question, why would anybody play by the rules at this point? Because the criminals, the homeless, the illegals, everybody but the, you know, upstanding taxpaying New Yorker is, is going to get the benefit of the doubt. But if you're just a regular person, they're going to sell you down the river because they don't want you there. They don't want anybody who has their head on straight and is going to think rationally about what the political establishment is doing. And that's why people are fleeing in droves. But thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share, and of course, subscribe.